All right, so let's get uh, Adobe Character Animator opened up and let's just start with your template puppet over here. So just grab this guy and you'll notice, oddly enough, that as soon as you do that, uh, you get taken over to Photoshop and just so you don't get too thrown off, uh, you can go back over to Character Animator at any point and uh, see that, hey, there's there's that guy, right? And he's talking, um, he's looking around, everything like that. Hey, look, he's... He's really following my eye movement. Uh, so we are going to modify this thing, all right? And uh, I'm actually going to take you over to here to another program, Adobe Animate. Here we go. What's the program do? It animates stuff. Well, let's just call it Adobe Animate. All right, uh, and here's the character. Uh, so I've already drawn this, and, um, you know, if, <laughs> if you don't know how to draw things and, and animate, well, that's fine. <laughs> Hopefully you know how to draw something in Photoshop. Uh, but uh, if not, then you really need to take a step back and, and watch some drawing lessons. So this kind of assumes that you've got some artwork ready to go, right? Uh, now this is all kind of subdivided down by whatever it is, you know. So there's the head, there's the nose, and everything like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm, I'm going to be as lazy as possible. You know, I could export this out as a separate uh, image file, but you know what? Um, it's for, spot, for time here, let's just go ahead and copy it. And then I'm going to go over here to that uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, template that opened up. And I'm just going to paste in what's in my clipboard right over top there. Okay. And uh, you'll notice that actually kind of showed up in the right place. I should probably shrink this down a little bit because if you remember, hey, remember how big that uh, the, uh, the hair was? Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, if I sh start shrinking the head, I'm going to have to shrink everything else. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and just bump up the canvas size of this guy. So I'm going to start here at the bottom, and we'll see how badly this messes things up. Let me give myself uh, 15 inches. Let's see. Doesn't that sound good? Uh, and I did that on the width. <laughs> I should do that on the height. Okay, let's let's try that again. All right, so I'm starting from the bottom. I'm going to increase the height. There we go. Let's go to 19 okay so it should give me a little bit more room up at the top to get that hair in there there we go all right so uh <laughs> i can't wait to see if this i can't remember what i did earlier when i set this up so anyway he we've uh we've now got this layer over here uh let's go ahead and just copy the, the name of this and i'm going to paste that into uh, the layer that i that i added in i'm going to delete that other layer and then let's save this and let's just flip over here to character animator to see what happens okay all right so preparing the scene and sure enough that looks about right now remember um i'm gonna have that hair going on up there at the top so let's do this let's go ahead and just take the the uh transform down on this guy uh, or the, i should say the scale down on this guy so there we go and um that that should be um a nice little kind of semi-permanent fix Okay, so he's he's now initially scaled down. Actually, I get, let's go ahead and give him a little bit more room to go have up at the top. So I'm going to take the Y position down as well. Okay, all right. But every, otherwise, everything else is still kind of, hey, you know, working. Uh, everything's still lip syncing. The eyebrows are still going up. Um, <laughs> it's an important thing to check frequently and make sure everything is still rigged up. All right, so let's talk about um, getting kind of transfusing your style uh, into this because right now we've sort of got our these uh, uh, Homer Simpson eyes right they're not connected like Homer's eyes are but they uh, you know just a white background with a stroke around it and then the uh, the pupil is over top of that so you can see if I were to take that off there you go you get an idea of where everything's at and then they've got this hidden uh, blink layer over here uh, so in my case uh, I wanted to do something a little bit more like this where um, what I've kind of considered the, I mean, I guess this is more of the cheek, but let's translate it over to their world. Let's, let's call this the kind of like eye base, right? Uh, which isn't much, but it just is a little bit over top of the eye. And then of course, this is still really just our pupil over here. And, uh, it turns out you'll probably have no problems doing exactly what I did. I'm just going to, uh, come back over here and, uh, let's go to the right eyeball. I'm going to paste this in. And then just move it kind of like right over where I think that was before. And, you know, this is where this is where just copying and pasting the the laziness of this is not paying off. Because you see when you copy that vector artwork, it gives you a little bit of that action outside of there. I mean, so, you know, it, it's probably worth it to just go ahead and export things out. But you could always do this too. just get rid of that. All right. Um, so anyway, the, the main point of this is that. There we go. We, um, we're now going to take
take this right eyeball, I'm going to rename that to the right eyeball. I'm going to delete out the one that was in there before. Okay, and maybe move it over just a little bit so it's not into the kind of shadow, right? All right, so now I've got my pupil. And don't worry, I'm not going to do this for every single part. We'll speed things up a little bit. But again, I'm going to go back over here, go to right pupil, boom, 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 put this thing right over there. And I'm going to copy this. All right, now that plus sign right there is actually important in uh, Adobe character animator it uh, it signifies that that people can move independent of other things in here so it's not going to try to drag along this eye with it okay uh, so let's go ahead and delete out the one we got before and here's what I was most worried about is that um, that I couldn't just like move this over top of this other one and you can there's no you can shift these layers around that's that's all good right it doesn't really change this being the right pupil okay uh, so let's save this out and then let's go back over here to character animator and as soon as it loads back up again okay now here here is the here's the problem you'll notice that when i start moving my eyes around you get that happening right where it's just moving you know too too low uh down in there and i think that there's uh, i'm sure there's a couple ways to kind of address that but uh one of the ones that uh I thought worked out well was to just draw in a new shape that is going to be uh, defining the kind of range area of that. And let's take a look at what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, just click on this blank face over here. Now that's not going to open it up in Photoshop. It kind of seems like it would, but uh, it's going to take us over here to this little world. Let me move this down a bit. All right. So let's see. That is my right eyeball. Okay, now when you select this, you notice things change up a bit over here. Let me see if I can get rid of myself. Uh, okay, the, yes, that's our right eyeball. And you'll notice that it's got a tag on here for being, oh, here it is. Let me switch this over here to uh, the written tags. Uh, it's the, it's, it's the right pupil range, okay? So that means that our pupil is going to somehow float around inside of this area. And you get an idea of that over here as well. See how it's got this little dotted blue line. So it's telling you that that's going to be the range of it. Uh, but really, we don't want that eye floating around inside of that area, right? Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, and again, I think that there's probably more than one way to handle this. But I'm going to make a, a new layer uh, right over here. And... I'm just going to take the little little circle thing, <laughs> the ellipse, and I'm going to just fill this in with that skin tone. I'm going to bring this down below here so we are kind of not that aware of it. It just blends in. And I'm just going to rotate this guy. There it is. All right. And maybe move it up just a little bit. Okay, so this is now going to be, I'm going to call this right range. Okay, and as always, save that out. <laughs> well, <laughs> not as always, because <laughs> funny thing is with this program, if you try to save a lot, it'll it'll remind you you don't have to save, and it'll say something like, "No, really, you don't have to save." Uh, but it's confusing when you go back and forth between the two programs. All right, so you'll notice now I've got my right range over here, but there's nothing that it's. You know, it's not attached or tagged anything on the face uh, until we press right here. So I'm going to just go and uh, make it so that this is now going to be the right range. I believe I still have to go over here to my right eyeball and, and yeah, disable that. So apparently two things can define the same thing. But now click over here. All right, so that's going to be the range of that right pupil. And hey, I almost did it. I almost hit save. I'm getting used to it. Okay, so preparing the scene uh, now. You'll notice that I'm doing my best to kind of move my, move my eyes in a way that could potentially take it down there. The eye is, uh, it's not doing that. Okay. Now, obviously, you lose a little bit of the, you know, I'd say the personality of the eyes uh, by, by making them so restricted. But again, you know, this kind of comes down to a stylistic change. All right. So. Uh, who feels that they are ready to take this on their own now? Okay, um, I guess I can bring in a couple more things, but uh, you know, it's really just me 
at this point now going through here just pasting stuff in so uh let's let's do this let's paste in this uh, right eyebrow so we at least get kind of half the face looking like it should again just going to copy and paste that same name delete that one uh you know what for the left blink let's do this i i bet i could probably oh i'm sorry the i meant the right blink take that one off can i just move this over here i bet i could Nope, still on the wrong layer. There it is. I'm going to hit the uh, Command T to just rotate this. Not the world's greatest blink, but it'll work in a pinch. And uh, obviously the, the, uh, the software knows that uh, when I blink, it should get rid of the pupil and the other part of it, right? So let's, let's just test that out. So I'm going to blink. Wait a minute. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, hmm. Not seen it. Is it because I'm blinking? No. I, oh, it <laughs> it might actually be because I saw it blink there. All right. Well, that's a hard thing to test, isn't it? Yeah, I truly feel like an idiot now. Uh, okay. So, again, uh, on your end, now's the the part where it gets tedious for you, where you uh, you, you can either go with these basic mouths. That are in here or you can start to create your own library of all these different mouths and go ahead and bring them in and replace them out onto all these different uh, layers that they've got set up for you as for the um the hair i believe i just pasted that above this and i can tell you right now because there's that other file uh, what did i do for the hair okay the hair Actually, I put that up at the top, okay, and you can see I tacked on the uh, the right ear, and the left ear is below that face background, okay, and uh, there's no kind of ear tag to add up, uh, and I didn't see one for the hair either, uh, so we, uh, we'll end up making it kind of wavy uh, later on, and then um, for the body, uh, what you can do for that, let me fold up this folder, is uh, you can create a, uh, a folder, Okay, so you just do that over here, or group. And uh, and then the one layer inside of here is just called body uh, background, or BG, right? Uh, and then, all right, let's get back over here. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, hold on. I'm going to real quick take, let's see if I can copy this. Uh, you know what? I'll just copy that layer. Uh, I did run into one weird issue, and I'll, I'll see if it kind of shows up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that body. So I'm going to make another group, body, then take this, put it into there. Okay. And I'm going to take that, make it below. All right. So you can see... Uh, both uh, both groups are still a part of this character, right? Uh, let's just oops. Let's make the body a bit bigger. Okay. Now the issue I had, which I'm hoping doesn't show up, but I'm going to save it, was that for some reason you're able to see through. Yeah, let's see. You're able to see through the, yeah, it looks like it didn't do it. It was, I don't know, it was like almost like a blending type thing was on. Uh, and you'll notice that there is a blending mode over here. So it's possible maybe at some point I was spinning the dial on my touchpad and I, I changed this blending mode. Yep, it looks like it's pretty darn easy to do that. So that's probably what happened to me before. And it looks like everything is, <laughs> what a stupid looking guy. Um, it looks like everything is, uh, is set up correctly. <laughs> Just half of the way there all right so i'll let you guys take it from there and then we'll come back and we'll talk a bit about the uh the recording and all that other good stuff